Hi everybody. Welcome to this lecture series on data manipulation using spreadsheet. We will go through various aspects of the electronic spreadsheet and understand its fundamentals. I will cover the whole concept step by step in my all video lectures. You can subscribe to this channel and you will notified as soon as new part of the lecture series will be uploaded. Okay, so without wasting much of the time, let us start our journey. Our first and obvious question is, what is electronic spreadsheet? Well, electronic spreadsheet is an application software. Application softwares are those softwares developed for specific purpose. It enables the user to store data any kind of data in tabular form. It allows storing the data in systematic way in tabular format as an electronic document. It is consists of rows and columns. This electronic spreadsheet is also called a worksheet. Collection of more than one worksheet is called a workbook. It is like your notebook which is consists of number of pages. Now let us get familiar with the worksheet and its components. Look at the spreadsheet visible over here. We are going to learn about the general concept of electronic workbook. So we are not uh, software specific but to understand the components we will be using Microsoft Excel for reference. Excel is Microsoft product and it is very popular electronic spreadsheet application. We simply click on the icon of MS Excel to open it and a blank worksheet will open on the screen as it is visible over here. On top, the default name of the workbook will be visible. Here it is workbook book 1. We can give name or change it when we save the workbook in memory. The blank spreadsheet is consists of columns and rows. The columns are named using alphabets like A, B, C, D, etc. And rows are named with number sequence of number starting from 1. So it will be 1, 2, 3 in sequence. The specific cross section of row and column form a cell. Okay. So a cell is a location in the spreadsheet where we can store our data. Cell is recognized by its address. Here you can see that our current cell is A1. The cell address can be seen in address bar. Here is the address bar. The cell address can be seen in address bar and it is highlighted using dark black border. Cell address is combination of its position name as its current column name followed by its current row number. Whatever we write in current cell, it will appear in the formula bar too. Here is the formula bar. The formula bar you can see on top of the worksheet. We can also edit or write in formula bar and it will reflect in the current cell. And finally, if you look at the bottom, three worksheets are visible. Sheet 1 here then sheet 2 and sheet 3. Their names are visible as sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. Current worksheet where we, were, we are working right now is sheet 1. If you wish to open another sheet, you can click on that worksheet. It is like opening a page of a book. The workbook is consists of more than one worksheet. And we can add many more worksheet in workbook. Now let us go ahead and 
learn the next part. So let us just recap what we learned so far. Spread, spreadsheet is an application software. Application softwares are developed for specific purpose. It allows storing the data in systematic way in tabular format. It is two-dimensional entity consists of rows and columns. Electronic spreadsheet is also called a worksheet. Collection of more than one worksheet is called a workbook. Let us practically look at the workbook and understand that. So we open this Excel sheet. Now, if you look at this thing, cell is current location or active location on the worksheet. Cell address is combination of column name and row name. So for example, here we have cell A1 and here in address bar, you can view it as a A1. We can navigate in worksheet using up, down or left and right arrow keys. And we can also move to particular cell by just clicking on that particular cell address. Current cell address will be visible in the address bar. Like right now we are on column number F and row number 4. So here it is visible as F4. At bottom we can see tabs that shows worksheet uh, and uh, here are sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. Okay. And we can select particular worksheet by just clicking on it. So if you want to select sheet 2, just simply click on sheet 2. So now sheet 2 is open, sheet 3 is open and this is how we can open any particular sheet. Now, let us uh, go ahead and learn a few more things. We can see that by default, this workbook contains three worksheets. We can add new worksheets by clicking on insert worksheet tab available next to the last worksheet. Other way is by clicking shift and F11. Now one obvious question is how many rows and columns are available in a worksheet? Of course you don't need to remember this figure but just for your knowledge there are enough number of rows and columns in the worksheet by default. There are 10,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns that start from A to XFD. It is almost like unlimited, but it won't allow you to add or insert any more row or column beyond this. You can try it later on. One more thing to understand is that every cell can contain maximum 256 characters. Cell height is up to 409 points. So cell is having height width of 256 characters and height up to 409 points. Remember these dimensions are pertaining to the Microsoft Excel worksheet having version 2007 and later. For any other worksheet, it may be different. So this was just for your knowledge. You can navigate to next cell using tab key or right arrow keys. Similarly, you can also use enter key or up, down, left and right arrow keys to navigate. And finally, in this session, let us understand how to create one sample spreadsheet and perform some important operation. So we'll have hands-on uh, work over here, practical implementation. First, we will create a simple table over here and uh, we create a simple spreadsheet containing information about students. Okay. So let us write here as roll number. Okay. Then we will have uh, marks for five subjects. So we'll write subject one, subject two, subject three and uh, like three subjects are there and finally we will have total. Now roll number we will enter data like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. And for subject marks, we will enter some marks here. Okay. And uh, we can enter the marks over here. Right. And uh, again, here, uh, some more marks. Right. Then 45, 33, 22. Okay. And uh, here I am. These are just sample data I am entering. Okay. So we have entered some data over here. We will understand how to insert any column between two columns. Okay. So suppose like uh, for example, between here we have total and subject three. These are two columns. And suppose we forgo to, uh, you know, create one more uh, or add one more uh, column. Okay. For subject four. Then how to insert that okay so uh, similarly if you want to delete particular column then how to do that so here what we'll do is I'll simply uh, click right click here okay and then when I right click okay I'll have option insert I'll click on insert okay and I'll click on shift uh, entire column I want to add here so I'll just click on entire columns Okay, so it will add entire column over here, but I wanted to enter column between subject three and total. All right. So what I'll do is instead of keeping my cell here, I'll keep it over here in total column. Again, right click, I'll click on insert and then click on entire column. Click OK and I'll have extra column over here. Okay. And now I'll name it as a subject for similarly if i want to delete this particular column okay then what i'll do is i'll just select this okay from here okay i'll just keep my mouse pointer on e i want to remove this column select it and then right click that and then click on delete so it will delete the whole column so this is how we can insert a new column as well as we can delete it finally I want to store uh, this particular worksheet. So how to save this? So just click on this uh, office button. Okay. And then click on save as. Save as. Then you have various options as Excel workbook, Excel macro enabled workbook, Excel binary workbook. And uh, we will store it as an Excel 97 2003 workbook. So I'll click here. Okay. Then it will uh, again open and show us a dialog box, save as our dialog box. And here we are supposed to specify in which folder we want to store. Suppose I want to store it in E folder, okay, or I want to store it into uh, say C folder. So you just select where you want to store, okay. Then you are supposed to give name to your worksheet. So I will give name as example one okay and i'll click on save so when you click on save it will save this particular worksheet with name example one is it clear right so this is how we can store our uh, worksheet okay now let us just summarize what we learned so far so let us conclude our first session with some important summary Electronic spreadsheets, workbook, and worksheet. We talk about them. We talk about adding new worksheet. We talk about cell. We talk about cell address. Then inserting data, inserting and deleting rows and column of the worksheet. And finally, how to save the workbook. So that is great. We are concluding our session with this. Okay. And uh, that was our first session. We learned fundamentals of electronic spreadsheet. Very soon we will meet with our next session and learn more about the worksheet. Till then, enjoy working on worksheet and refer whatever we learned today. Have a wonderful day ahead. See you in next session. Till then, goodbye.